Today, we're going to continue our journey through the Capitol Hall, unlocking our last two districts, the Dragon Cliffs, which is one of the hardest districts in the Clan Capital, and the Golem Quarry, which unlocks the brand new Mountain Golem. And we're going to see it live in action here today. What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and welcome back for another sneak peek. We're back in the clan capital guys and we are looking to unlock Dragon Cliffs at Capitol Hall level 6 and Golem Quarry at Capitol Hall level 7. Now I went ahead and I took the liberty of upgrading some of our districts and even some of our capital buildings. That way we can go ahead and move right into this. But this is kind of the current standing right now. Barbarian Camp to 3, Wizard Valley and Balloon Lagoon to 2 and Builder's Workshop to 1. In order to progress those districts as well, we need to upgrade our clan capital to level 6. So let's go ahead and do that to start out today's video. And guys, if you've missed any of the other sneak peeks, I'm kind of doing a all-in-one tutorial. So make sure you guys check out the playlist. The link will be down there in the description. So let's go ahead and let's finish off this upgrade. Clan capital up to level 6, which should unlock dragon cliffs and this at max level is by far one of the hardest stages starting off it doesn't look very intimidating let's be honest guys it is not very intimidating let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in here and right off the bat when you unlock dragon cliffs you'll actually unlock the rage spell factory this is going to be very important because the rage spell is going to be very similar to the heal spell where it'll carry over for an additional raid so you'll have that rage spell for your whole raid and then the next attack as well so this is very important on dragon cliffs so at level one we can actually rebuild ruins to get our first super dragon pose let's go ahead and do that now we will have a super dragon on defense and that's what makes dragon cliffs so tough when you get this bad boy finish up there are tons of these dragon posts all around i think there's one over here yeah look at that we got a super dragon post over here we have another super dragon post over here at level three and then another one up here there's tons of super dragon posts i believe it gets up to six so that's gonna be really important along with that right here we have a barracks ruins which is actually going to unlock the hog raiders which is going to pair really well with the mountain golem that we're going to see in action a little bit later so let's go ahead and unlock our hog raiders along with that initially we have a few other ruins nothing too crazy here but you'll see there's uh there's some nice defenses in here we can get a blast bow which we're just short of but let's go ahead and contribute to that and then rebuilding all the ruins here initially we can see we get two super dragon bows we get a blast bow we get an inferno like like, this is a pretty tough district starting out, but what I think is really important here is going to be getting this district hall to level 2. Now, notice you need to get the capital hall to level 7, but why is this important to get to level 2? Well, the answer quite simply is right here we get our super dragon barracks so not only do we get another super dragon post but we will actually be able to use super dragons allowing us to have an additional troop to use here guys so it all pairs in so like i mentioned guys to get our district hall up to level two we need to get our capital hall up to level seven and even to unlock golem quarry we need to get that up to level seven as well but even finishing off all the buildings at level one on dragon cliff does not allow us to upgrade our capital hall so we need to revisit some of our other districts and rebuild and upgrade some buildings there or of course you could always upgrade and rebuild buildings in the capital peak but let's see what the other districts have to offer and taking a look at the other districts barbarian camp at level three cannot go up until we get to capital hall level seven and then the same thing with balloon lagoon at level two here we actually can't upgrade that until capital hall level seven as well so we have two options here to work on wizard valley or builders workshops and both have plus sides to them in the builders workshop if we upgrade our district hall we'll actually unlock a brand new troop the super pekka along with all of these brand new buildings so let's go ahead and do that because now we can actually rebuild and get our super pekka i believe it's right here yeah there we go so now we can get that super pekka rebuild as well and maxing everything out we can actually get a blast bow up to level two so this is actually a pretty huge move here and we can actually take a look at the super pekka for the first time and it's just like in builder base the super pekka is going to explode and deal additional damage and of course if you decide to work on wizard valley that's actually going to help your spells so either one of these are going to have some nice perks 
I think I personally uh, like Wizard Valley more. So let's go ahead and finish that off because we can get our spell storage up and that is going to be huge. That's going to give us an additional spell capacity along with uh, being able to work on our heal spell. There's a lot of pluses to working on Wizard Valley. But honestly guys, hopefully you have an active clan. You can just kind of work on it all together. Let's go ahead. Let's wax, max out Wizard Valley here for District Hall level three. And we can see a lot of upgrades done there, which also our Super Bear, or Super Wizard Barracks goes up. And I forgot that we get the jump spell in there also. So Wizard Valley has a lot to offer, but now we should be able to go and contribute to our Capital Peak, our Capital Hall rather, to get it to level seven. Yeah, guys, look at that. So it is pretty expensive, 400,000 Capital Gold. This is gonna take a little bit of work. These upgrades aren't gonna be cheap as you get further, but it's all gonna be worth it. But this will unlock the Golem Quarry and that brand new Mountain Golem. So let's do just that, guys. And after tons and tons of contributions, we can finally finish off our Capital Hall to level seven, which, I mean, it's gonna get stronger. Remember, the Capital Hall is gonna be your main focal point of the raid weekend, which we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. So make sure you guys subscribe, have those notifications on, that way you don't miss the raid weekend. But the Capital Hall is really important, but this unlocks uh, the Golem Quarry, guys. Oh, Golem Quarry. Let's take it all in here, guys. It is so nice. We get a Mountain Golem Quarry to start right away. So we can immediately use that Mountain Golem, which is going to be the second brand new unseen troop coming with the Clan Capital. And the Mountain Golem is an absolute colossus, guys. Look at that. 28,000 hit points, but check out the housing space. 160 housing space. Now, the Mountain Golem is going to move pretty slow slowly but it is going to crush right on through walls you don't need the rams or jump spells or anything like that the mountain golem will actually walk through walls and we'll show this off but before we get into our first show of the mountain golem we still need to unlock those super dragons and then with the golem quarry being unlocked and our district hall going to level seven we can now actually unlock our frost spell so let's go visit those real quick so if we return to dragon cliffs we can actually now upgrade our district hall to level two which will give us that super dragon barrack so let's just do that right there and i believe it is right over here yeah there we go so let's just go ahead and rebuild everything here and at level two you see that we get three super dragon posts now and now we have those super dragons unlocked going to level two really nice stuff right there guys really cool stuff but what about that frost spell our final final unit that we need to unlock our final spell where can we find the frost spell and for that we need to return to the builder's workshop that is going to be where our frost spell barracks is and it is right over here a spell factory ruins you'll see the spell frost spell factory right there but we need our district hall up to level three so we need to upgrade this one more time and now we'll be able to rebuild this ruins and get the frost spell unlocked and with everything rebuilt at level three builders workshop is shaping up to be a really nice district especially when you customize it and build it yourself it's gonna be really fun but let's hop into a battle checking out that brand new mountain golem and i forgot guys we don't have full camp so this is actually gonna be pretty tough with our mountain golem we only have 20 additional space left over so i think we're gonna take some minions here uh to try to work on the super dragon so let's just try to open up this initially and just kind of see where we're at here so you can see the, the default layout here we have a pretty tough base honestly like this is a pretty challenging one but we'll also check out some of those super dragons and i want to show you guys the mountain golem just being able to work right on through here so let's go ahead and start with a rage get him kind of raged up and notice how slow he is guys he's gonna move very slow and then i'm with that super dragon just to tank on the mountain golem and we're gonna throw in the two sets of minions just to try to work through the super dragon here guys oh man those super dragons are so tough on defense but look at that we get right on through there and notice that mountain golem is just going to unlock and open everything up as he's destroying his way through here but you have to be aware of the single target infernos and one thing i don't think we discussed is with the single target infernos and the lightning spell it works just like it does in home village when that single target inferno is locked on you can actually use a lightning spell to reset it so let's see if we can try that out here in this attack i'm not sure if we'll get to that like this is a pretty tough one let's go all the way over here yeah so we can actually like as that's starting to charge up we can go ahead and drop in drop in a lightning spell 
and reset it, although our mountain goal almost low on health. But let's go ahead and drop those down, and then let's start working through here, and let's try out some super dragons. Because the best way to counter super dragons is with more super dragons, or at least that's what Itsu told me, so let's let's give that a try here, guys. And I think we're just going to spam in all of our super dragons right here, along with our rocket loons, just to work right on through here. And again, we can reset that single so that it doesn't just melt right through our super dragon, and hopefully we can get this defending super dragon down. And you can actually use it to reset other defenses as well uh, as they're loading up and getting ready to hit so let's see if we can get that super dragon mostly down oh man guys this this stage is really really tough just working against those enemy super dragons it's so tough, but I have a weapon that I like to use on this one. And it might seem a little bit weird to go up against a super dragon with a flying fortress, but I like to do it, guys. I think it's actually a decent move. Uh, but notice one thing to really keep in mind here, and you'll see it, since we destroyed that super dragon's uh, building, it's now free to roam around the map. Let's go ahead and let's just throw this down here. And look, that super dragon's gonna pull all the way over here. That's So that's something, once you destroy that post, the super dragon or whatever defending troop, it doesn't even have to be a super dragon, whatever defending troop is free to roam around the map. So keep that in mind, guys. That is something that is really challenging, but you're going to have to deal with. All right, so let's go ahead and let's work through here. Now we're going to have that super dragon coming back. Let's go ahead and rage up top here. Nice. And we're going to deal with that super dragon the same way we did the last one using those minions. So let's go ahead and do just that here. Nice. We'll get right on through him. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. And then we get a couple rams just to open up. Because remember, for the deployment zone to open up, ground units need to be able to reach that area. So that's super important to work on. And we can actually... Oh, we should have rammed over here, to be honest. Kind of a bad use of the ram, guys. That's all right. Uh, let's see. We're not going to get all the way over to that inferno. But I, I really like using the... Uh, the flying fortress in this situation if you can get some minions behind it it's actually going to be pretty decent let's see if we can get these air bombs down oh no that dragon's going to be real annoying maybe we could destroy that dragon's post and have that dragon fly like we can lure that dragon over for the next attack perhaps that could be good all right let's see we got plenty of time take your time on these raids it's not a race guys take your time and do what you need to do all right i want this dragon to get out of my way dragon move out of the way all right we're, we're just gonna be patient here guys he should rotate out there okay nope nope he's gonna come right back in oh man we're not gonna get his post down but that's okay we can work on it and finish him off i think on this next one so let's use that same army and let's use that ram to go ahead and open this up yeah look at that we get some nice reach in there i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use the rocket loons right here to take this down nice perfect awesome good stuff there and then we're gonna use our flying fortress right in to this area here all right, and then I'm going to rage it up. We do have to be careful of that super dragon, but I think this is going to be the move. And then if you guys want to see some max gameplay, tomorrow when we're discussing raids, I'm going to use everything max. So you guys can hopefully get a look at some of the max units in action here. Uh, it's really fun, guys. And we can actually even... I was trying. I don't know if we'll actually be able to. I was trying to get the... Uh, the minions in there ahead but we're gonna keep that reset and then let's go ahead and let's see if we can take this dragon out come on get the dragon get the dragon they're raged up i think they'll be fine yeah they're gonna they're gonna get right through there guys beautiful dragon's gonna go down and remember that flying fortress is gonna go for defenses so that's always a super positive thing we can actually throw in our minions back here and then we'll finish this one off let me know what do you guys think of these districts what is your favorite district so far i know you guys haven't seen them maxed on my channel but maybe you have elsewhere because i'm sure the other creators have been just having a blast with this update just like i have been like there's so much to do so much information but i just wanted to kind of take my time with this and walk you guys through how to unlock each district and then from there you can work on maxing out your capital peak at level 10 and then each district at level 5 and let me show you guys what dragon cliffs looks like next <laughs> it's disgusting guys look at this there's super dragon posts everywhere like what the heck along with single inferno like this is this is generally one of the toughest stages and when people get building bases on it it's gonna be crazy and then let's go take a look at golem quarry maxed out since we did take a look at all of them golem quarry is still pretty intimidating as well with the blast bow the rocket artillery and then there's like these holes in the base that you can kind of use to your advantage i'm really interested to see what people are going to do with base building but we're going to wrap it up there for today come back tomorrow so you guys can check out the example for raid weekend and see how that's going to work how you can 
can earn those raid medals, how you can earn more raid gold, and just have a blast with the clan capital. You guys have a great day. Keep on clash bashing.